There we are. And welcome back to, you know what it is, Talvin what? Talvin what? Talvin Talks? Talk. You know, you always know what it is. Come on. You've always know I've been here. And now let me explain my look. To be honest, I've come on here with a lot of pride today. You get me, I get you. I'm happy with who I am, but I need to represent my community. And I'm telling you now that um, I'm going to do it in the best way that I know. And that's expressing all sides, camp, masculine and all the androgynous that we can represent well i want to represent anyway but today uh, my topic is going to be based on this thing called monkey pox we're going to speak about monkey pox because that's very vital to know you are a an lgbtq plus member and in particular a gay man so i've got to let us guys know because the way it come about to me was such a surprise now i'm sitting down right i'm chilling yeah in the sti clinic all i'm doing is trying my own business or i seem to people that I know all right then awkward place but you know me I've got to socialize and then eventually there was a stream of obvious gay guys behind do you know what I mean they were like just blatantly there waiting on something and when I overheard them saying they were sold out on something this injection thing they all went off and I'm thinking why is there a mass of gay men heading into the SGI clinic in a row all one in the same thing what am I missing out on so I researched it and this is what I found out about ooh, 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 Monkey Pox and what name for it correct. Here we go. You did them. Information. Now the outbreak for Monkey Pox 2022 is an ongoing outbreak of Monkey Pox. A viral disease was confirmed in May 2022. The initial cluster of cases was found in the United Kingdom where the first case was detected on the 6th of May 2022 in an individual and travel links to Nigeria. Mm -mm. And guys, we need to absolutely make sure we are aware of these things. And also, guys, just a little warning to let you know, I couldn't be without showing you guys some visual images so you're aware of what the physicalities are. These images aren't great, are they? I mean, ouch! They look really sore and oozy and oh, oh my gosh, listen, just make sure you check yourself out, guys, or make sure you're okay. <laughs> And guys, here are the list of the symptoms, just in case. And um, I did a bit of research and found out that it can be in a comparison to chicken pox, but you're not really to um, get the two mixed up. And that's why I'm showing you all evidence of the symptoms and stuff. But anyway, these are the symptoms. If you get infected with monkey pox, it usually takes between 5 and 21 days for the first symptom to appear. The first symptom of monkey pox include a high temperature, a headache, muscle aches, Backache, swollen glands, ooh, shivers, chills, exhaustion, and joint pain. A rash usually appears one to five days after the first symptoms. The rash often begins on the face, then spreads to other parts of the body. This can include the mouth, genitals, and anus. You may also have anal pain or bleeding from your bottom. Guys, make sure that everything is okay. This is out there now, so you're aware. And yes, that does include me. <laughs> now I'm going to check this out myself I'm going to research more into whether I need this or not I mean there's loads of vaccines going around Right guys, how can you keep up with all this? Like how much stuff are we going to put into our body That we don't know and haven't created Before we start with the nutrients, the vitamins The things we actually need that do help us That are here growing in front of us Or we can actually grow ourselves Since we know what's going on globally With all the economics and how we have to save money And all the shopping is getting uh, you know, in, into into a place that people are struggling. Oh, by the way, look. Do you like the earring? It represents love and I like blue. And yes, I've got the same suit again. But why not remix it? Huh? What's wrong with that? Anyway, reactions. <laughs> so anyway, check that out, guys. Look it up. Where is all this stuff coming from and what are these names? Do you know what I'm saying? Like, they name um, Hurricanes, uh, I don't know, Hurricane Katrina. What is this? This is gonna be Storm Calvin coming at you. Bam, baby. Straight in your face. <laughs> well, yes, now, I wanna give a shout out. I wanna give a good shout out to the people locally that I know. I wanna lift up my gay people. I wanna give a good representation to who we are because there's loads of things that are not representing us as an LGBTQ plus 
community, really. There is no. So I want to get in front of that narrative, you know that. And so on my social media, on my Facebook, I've seen some touching stories that I think I just want to share because I think that by these people sharing it so publicly to a platform um, where they know they're going to be judged, where they know that they're going to have to accept that that can get screenshot and be there in the media forever. That's the thing these days. So be careful what you say and what is your message. Do you know what I'm saying? So let's give these guys a shout out. I want to start off firstly with an old friend of mine. I just scrolled down my page and I seen that through his hard work, through his consistency and through his drive and passion, look what he's achieved. Okay guys, so down on my Facebook, I just come across my old friend Denzi Davis, he goes by the name of, isn't he lovely? And look at the column that he wrote, listen, it says, ladies and gentlemen and non-binary fellows, the time has come for those who are not aware I will be portraying Lola in Stalbridge Operatic Society. Oh my gosh, I'm so proud. And, then, and guess what that is? Kinky boots. Kinky bloody boots. If you guys know what kinky boots is, is I'm going to show you what that is in a minute and give you a boost and a reminder because Cindy Lopez was in that. And wow, just wow, 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 wow. And this touching part is put, I can't tell you what an honour it is to fulfil these boots, literally. <laughs> Tickets are on sale now down below. Guys, please come and support this human being who's spreading his art with such compassion. And you know, what an admirational thing to do. Like, while all these things are bad, I want to show you what good is going on in this life. Yeah, and there we have it, Miss 80s Cindy Lauper, starring in the original Kinky Boots from 2005 with an all round cast. And can you believe that Denz is going to be in that? Oh, you know what? Congratulations to you, Denz. Oh my God. Congratulations. Oh, yes. yes. Now, if you put your mind to it and you stick to your goals and you don't let these horrible people pull you down and always keep Mwah. love, 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 lots of love in your heart, then, woo, you know, it's going to work out. Things are going to go the way that you want it to be. Do you know what I'm saying? It is. So, yes, I'm so happy about that. I'm so grateful for what he's done. And thank you. Keep it coming. Keep it coming. And guys, check him out. There's his social media. You can see the links. Go and support this human being who is absolutely excelling for the best of himself. And that should be a representation. And let and behold, he's there to entertain. So we are the genuine artists that are coming up. Do you get what I mean? So... This is us, we represent, and now I'm gonna shout out, call out anybody that I can while we grow and love together because you know in this channel we represent love, as I just said, and that is how it's gonna be. So go check him out, guys. Okay. Okay, so now for this next story, I just used to scroll up and down my page and see these highlights, these stories, these reels from a beautiful interracial couple. And I love that representation because we've got to let everyone know that there's dynamics out there. It's not just once you're a male, you're gay and you're gonna be bumming everybody and we all love to catch diseases and sleep around. There are some of us that experience those things because the title and category is not there. So I'm about to put that platform in by the way. And we stand for a more of a traditional moral ground of things that aren't spoken about, which is other than sex. So these guys were just absolutely amazing, showing their progress and their unison and all that stuff. And I still, oh, I idolize them. And I, I, I actually message and let them know that because you have to let people know how much you care and adore such good representation that you see other people could be benefiting from because we've all got to share this life and this earth together, correct? He literally has been confident and brave enough to show his story and he's given me permission to share it here. So thank you. Please check this out. So this is them guys and look what an amazing couple. So beautiful, aren't they? So he wrote a statement and I just literally just come across it and it totally touched me and it had to be shared. So here it goes. It's not very often I have bad news to share, but after going out today, I feel like I need to. So over the last two months, I've had very sudden and profound hearing loss in both ears, which I won't be getting back. This is from a past condition which has caused me no problems until now. I will now have to wear hearing aids from now until forever. 
I won't leave them out clubbing as people tend to talk louder, but please bear in mind if you're calling me from a distance as I won't hear you. Anyone who knows me knows I've always been confident and outgoing person and I still am, but this has been very hard on me and I've been doing my best to look forward to the future and stay positive. Phil has literally been my amazing rock throughout this. I've laughed and cried a lot. Please don't think I'm looking for sympathy. I just need to put this out there as it's going to take some time to get used to my new way of life. Thank you to my friends and family that have supported me so far. I just keep telling myself there are people who are worse off than myself. Some I know personally, but again, when things like this happen to you, it does feel like the world is ending. I'll warn you, my new hearing aids are supersonic, so don't talk about me behind my back because I'll hear you. Oh, what bravery and what um, what an approach to take on a life-changing situation. And life-changing doesn't mean negative people. It means a different. And thank you, Antonio, for sharing that. And thank you, Phil, for being such an amazing support. Now you will inspire and a few of us could take a leaf out of your book. And you've got my support. We love you. <laughs> guys, guys, now can you believe that? I mean, don't you think things like this need to be represented on mainstream TV? Do you know what I mean? Just nice things, you know, because we always get the morbid from the news. And I get it. I get it. I completely do. Trust me, fam. But at the end of the day, you know, life isn't just one way. And there are elements and the light and greener pasture in towards the ending. Now for me, it's my faith. It's my faith in Jesus. It's my representation of me, me as a person, my moral ground, my compass. And thank God he's blessed me enough just to be that way naturally. And through the pain and adversities, I've seen the damage it can do and want to make me want more and better for everyone in general, because I have to share this life with you. And I know what my intent is to keep myself sharing it. It's genuine. It's fair. It's, you know, I learn from people that are not like me because you know that makes them opposite I don't push them away so think what you're doing but anyway neither here nor there come on isn't this just brilliant and I think it's great and I think it's fantastic that these people can actually expose themselves for the right reason I'm doing a lot of showcase me because I want to get your attention and I want to get your attention for the right reason so guys with a platform I want to say to you again and people you may follow and may like please guys as, as we're growing let me explain this make sure the message you're listening to validates and uplifts you the right way because against all of our masks and all of our adversities we want to move forward we want to be loved we want friendship we want companionship that why do you think most people are checking out online what other people are doing because we desire it and it's all types of people not just somebody who's desperate at home it's people who go from work to check it out who don't have the time it's people who are feeling bitter in their bitterness and want to see an expression of being free you know so represent the right things taking the right things have a balance and thank you guys thank you guys thank you all and i love you guys and where i'll be back to Talvin what? Talvin talks. So guys, if you're feeling this message and you know what I'm talking about, please like, comment, and subscribe and, and share. check out my social media, as I always say, my Instagram. Let's not forget my Facebook. Poetry, my art, my fun, my some charisma that I like to share. And definitely keep you happy. Keeps me going, and that is genuine. You know me, you know me, and of course you know me. And now you know me. You'll get to know me, and you'll see that is how it is. I'm moving with the right platform, with me, with you, all of us, with all of us who represent the right things. <laughs> I love to talk. Come on, it's called Talvin Talks. It's called what? Say it again. Say it again. Oh, say it again. Say it again, baby. Say it again, baby. Say it again, baby. Say it again, baby. So I'm you like this. And thank you for coming on to Talvin Talks. <laughs> <Woo>! <laughs>